9B report on his plan test. Ms. Roundtree. Vicki Roundtree, 6119 Chavo Road. I'm the HMA president. I'm here to give you an update on Sprint Fest. Um, once again, I'm glad to say we came in under budget, so we're two for two. Um, and we were able to save quite a bit of money due to a local citizen that helps us with our signage, Mr. Walter Byrne. So he gave us a deeply discounted rate on new signage um, that we'll be able to use year after year. So that was went a lot toward helping us come in under budget. Um, a few things that we talked about at our meeting, some key learnings and some things that I was asked to pass along to council. Um, our key learnings, um, we know next year that we need to reduce this event from a week-long event to a four-day event. This will give us more time to concentrate on the individual components of Spring Fest and not draw it out. So we'll begin, we'll keep it in the third, th um, month, third week of the month of April and we'll run it Thursday through Sunday and that way we'll be able to really spend time on those four events. Um, we also know that we've got to do a better job of advertising outside the city of Hayhara, so we'll probably be doing uh, some extensive uh, uh, advertising in the newspaper, radio, um, other media such as mag local magazines, things like that. Um, entertainment, we know we got to have entertainment. Um, that's going to be a given in all of our events going forward is to have live entertainment which is why the city center is going to be really important and that we get that bandstand because that's going to be a key part of all of our um, festivals going forward. Carnival rides and food trucks, those are things that we know we need to add. The request that I have from the uh, Merchants Association is that we'd like to see more involvement from our city council at our events. So um, whenever we're having an open house or a festival, we'd like to see more of your faces at our events. So, just so we don't feel like you guys just gave it to us and said, here. <laughs> We're trying really hard to make the events um, something that our town would be proud of, but you know, we're not, we're not even quite a year old yet and we're learning and we still have a lot to learn. Um, so we would really appreciate any input that you guys have. Um, you know, I know some of you were at the events, at some of the events for Spring Fest. So anything that you guys see that we can improve our events going forward, um, we certainly would appreciate it. Our next event will be um, the July 4th celebration. I'll be coming to you next month for some money on that one. That probably will be one of our um, more um, highly funded events of the year. So um, just expect to see you again next month. What about the car show? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. That is the car show. Um, the car show is not going to require a lot of money. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I don't know that we're going to request any money for the car show, uh, maybe other than purchase of a couple of tents because last year it was so extremely hot. Um, and if, if I do that, that will come under um, the amount that's required for me to come in front of you all and I can see the mayor for that. Other than that, we don't expect to have any expenses for the car show. Just as a matter of note, too, I think that the entire space can be utilized now, can it, uh, Johnny, uh, as far as the property? You cleared the nails and any other obstructions? Well, that's the nails. It didn't work. It can be used. Yeah. Okay, so you feel safe for us going out there and utilizing? Because um, our July 4th event, we would like to utilize as much space as possible, so that's safe for us to use and we'll probably start using. 